Hey friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Heffy Doodle video. Today I am bringing out lots of products for the new uh, up and coming Heffy Doodle challenge. And you'll see I'm pointing at pumpkins because our challenge is pumpkin pizzazz. We're going to talk about each of these stamp sets and products that we're using as we pull them out. But here is a good look at them. We've got costume critters, ghoul friends, perfect blend, veggie patch. Those are all our stamps and dies. And then we have our strips of ease, stitched slopey joes. We have our coffee cup shaker and some brand new shakers as well. Uh, we're going to start with a piece of watercolor cardstock that I have cut down to 5 by 7 Yeah, we're going to make a 5 by 7 card because I wanted all those things to be able to fit on there. And I love this stencil. This is the Cloudy Skies. It's an older one, but it is a classic and I love it. I'm bringing in my Uncharted Mariner Distress Oxide and then we are just going to go ahead and start blending our clouds on there. I'm keeping it dark right where the stencil is, as you can see, and then I'm kind of lightly blending into it. I'm going to pull out my piece and move this around as we go, even skipping to different parts of the stencil so that we can get a different cloud look as we go down our, our piece. But this stencil is great for almost any size card. Um, good for six by six, good for five by seven, good for A2, good for slimline. I have used it on all the cards. <laughs> so it's, uh, you just kind of slip it in and then move it around where you want it. I tape it down with a little bit of heffy tape. And then I just use one of my blender brushes that I have specifically for distress oxides. And then I'll just blend, keeping it, like I said, nice and dark at the right where the cloud is and then kind of lightly blending up into what I've already blended. And we're just going to keep working our way down and then we'll eventually um, get to that very bottom part. Now this, I am going to make a scene with this card. So I don't need to have the clouds go all the way to the bottom, but I'm going to just go ahead and do it because I'm not exactly sure how far down my grass is going to go. So like I said, we'll just keep working it. This will be the last cloud that we um, use down here at the bottom. And same process and then once I'm done with the cloud I'm gonna pull this out and then just blend at the very very bottom so because I don't want it to be stark white again not sure exactly how far up my grass is going to go so then we'll clean up our mess and then I'm gonna put this back into my uh, makeshift splatter box and I've sprayed some spray over the top of the bean scene stencil you're not really gonna be able to see it very well not with the naked eye here on the camera but if this were up in your face you could actually see it it does look cool it's kind of subtle and it's a little bit shimmery because I used a shimmer spray I have got um, some forest moss and I'm just blending that onto the ground that I used and I cut that with our Slopey Joe's die and so I've got two of those and then we're going to clean up our mess and we can attach these down to our scene. So I'm just gonna put glue at the very bottom of this piece. It's gonna go up a little ways. And then for this one, I'm going to use some foam tape, some of the Heffy Doodle three millimeter deep foam tape. This stuff is a little bit thicker than normal as far as, you know, how, obviously how thick it is, uh, because it's perfect for shakers. It's, it's perfect for those interactive, and um, or light ups and whatnot so that was the 12 millimeter wide three millimeter deep here are all the pieces that i have die cut out using our coffee cup shaker die i've got one with orange then i did use a white one but then i cut out the center and we won't need that center piece i cut out some of our acetate um, that heffy doodle has and i've got two sheets of that I am going to go all the way around the perimeter of our opening with some eighth inch score tape and then I'm gonna peel off all that release paper on the back of that. And then we're gonna be able to stick down our acetate to that. So just one of those pieces of acetate, that's gonna be the front of our shaker, but we're working on the back right now. Once that's down, we're gonna bring in some more of that foam tape. Again, I said this stuff is perfect for shakers because it's deep enough three millimeters deep is great and you can tell I use it a lot I'm getting to the very end of it thankfully I have some more in my stash so I'm good there um, but not only do we have some of the 12 millimeter wide we also have some five millimeter wide so this is perfect for going all the way around your shakers as well or in those tight spots and it's it's just as deep so it's it all goes together and this will give your shakers pl plenty of room to kind of shake around then I'm going to peel off that release paper that we've got there 
and this is where I'm going to bring in that brand new sequin mix. That is the Firefly sequin mix. There's three new sequin mixes, and I love them because they're not just sequins. They are, and they're different sizes. They're different colors in there. There's some little gems, and even the little centers from the sequins themselves that have been cut out. I love adding those as well. I like it when those are in there because it just adds a little bit of interest and depth. And then I just have some of these little um, bean, clay beans that I'm just going to put in there from my stash just to add a little something, something extra. Got a little pumpkin spice going on. Then I'll take my second piece of acetate and just stick that down on top. That just for me makes it a little easier to assemble my shakers. It's not necessary, but for me it just works. And so now I can take liquid glue and I can put that all around the perimeter and also just kind of on our foam tape. That'll give me some wiggle room and then I can stick down the orange piece of cardstock. That'll be perfect. Yay! And so then I also have this piece off to the side and I'm using some alcohol markers just to give it a little bit of depth. This is the top of our cup and there's two pieces to it and I die cut that out of some dark gray cardstock. I was going to do black but then I thought this way I can add a little bit of depth to it by using my alcohol markers and then I can attach that little piece down to the rim of our lid using some liquid glue and then I can attach this piece down to the top of our shaker and then our shaker will be done. We'll be able to move on to our coloring and I have gone ahead and stamped and colored a lot of the pieces already die cut them because there's a lot of orange there it's all kind of the same so we're just going to go ahead and color this one for you. I stamped this using some memento tuxedo black ink and did that on that alcohol marker friendly cardstock that Heffy Doodle has and then I'm just using my Olo markers. Now I may have gone a little dark and deep here with this brown that I'm using on our pumpkin, but I'm trying to do a little tip to tip here with the two colors, that O2.4 and the O2.7, um, and it works pretty good. And if you're unhappy, just keep blending. That's what I love about alcohol markers is, you know, you can move that color around, kind of lessen it. Now it doesn't disappear, obviously, it just moves the color, but you can blend them really well. And so um, that is what I am doing here. And I'll just keep blending until I am happy with how cute this little veggie patch pumpkin is. Like I said, I pulled out some of the new ones, the costume critters, our ghoul friends, our perfect blend. Those are new stamps to the Heffy Doodle line and they all had pumpkins. And so I wanted to use all of the pumpkins since the challenge for the month of October is pumpkin pizzazz. So um, this is how I interpreted the challenge. I'll have the Facebook group linked down below so that you can go and check out the current challenge and then maybe get your thinking caps on getting ready for the next month's challenge. Um, they're always fun to go through those, those folders and take a look at what people have added. You'll notice I had my mini die cutting machine out. We're going to bring it out one more time after I stamp out my sentiment. But I, I'm going to stamp this onto some um, sentiment cardstock. It's a just a nice matte, smooth black cardstock. And I'm going to stamp that with some juicy embossing ink. It's just a clear sticky ink. And then I'll cover that with my detail white embossing powder that I have here. And then I'm going to heat set that till that is smooth and melted. And then once that is all embossed I'll bring in my strips of ease die cut run that through that heffy doodle die cutting machine and then we'll attach that down to the front of our card with liquid glue as you can see I've kind of already placed everything I was playing around with it and so we're gonna continue on and just start attaching everything down with liquid glue there's only one thing in here that's gonna need a little bit of foam tape behind it and that is our a darling little ghost behind the pumpkin I love that little image. He's so cute. And he comes from the Ghoul Friends stamp set. This little pup that I've colored comes from our costume critters. And then, like I said, we have all these adorable pumpkins from the various stamp sets. So this is why I just, I grabbed all of them. <laughs> I had to, right? Pumpkin pizzazz. You know, we've got a pumpkin spice latte on here. So all the friends are coming out to see this this giant pumpkin spice with some firefly sequin mix inside shaking around <laughs> and then i'm even going to take some more of that firefly and we're just going to stick some of those pieces around in the sky and just around using some liquid glue and then uh, i should have done this last but i was so excited to attach them i just couldn't wait 
Um, then the next step will be to move on to our card base. So that is a 10 inch by seven inch piece of cardstock that I've scored at five inches, so it is a five by seven card. And then I'm gonna take the leftover pieces that I had and we're just gonna attach those down on the inside. If you watch me at all, which a lot of you do, then you know that I love to kind of bring some of the outside to the inside just to make everything seem real cohesive. And then we'll attach down our card front to our card base. Like I said, I probably should have done this before I did all my sequins, but couldn't help myself. And then that's going to finish off our card for today. I do love how this turned out. I hope you do too. If you do, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Heffy Doodle has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you soon.